Okay, so my name is Mattia, and I am with AJ3 News Reports. And so very excited to sit down with you today just to talk and learn a little bit more about you. Um, you. First, I'd like to say happy belated birthday. I saw it was just your Thank you. birthday recently. So, yeah, it was on day. Getting older, just another yeah, reminder. It's definitely a blessing, you know? Um, and yeah. how was it celebrating this birthday under quarantine? <laughs> Honestly, it really, I didn't hate it, which was crazy. Mm -hmm. This year, like I, I normally from birthday every year, I'm like super excited. I'm planning mm -hmm. this like big party. And this right. year, even before quarantine, I was, my friends were like, what are you gonna do for your birthday? And I was like, eh, I don't know. I was just kind of like, whatever. Right. So it was, it was, it was good. Like I had, um, I actually did a Zoom birthday okay. party. With <laughs> Very nice. We, like we just didn't plan it right. right. And that was on Sunday. My birthday was actually Monday. And then my friends came here and surprised me that morning with breakfast. Oh, very nice. And, um, it was good. It was nice. I didn't. I'm okay with it. So very good. Very good. As long as you're okay. Normal. Very normal. nice. The normal stuff. Right. So since we're all familiar with quarantine, we're all kind of living the same life right now. In terms of your yeah. world and acting, how has that affected um, auditions or even just oh, going God. to the studio to work and? Yeah. No. There's been nothing. Um, so I was in LA. I went to pilot season for a month. Mm -hmm. um, went to LA for pilot season for a month. I went from like the middle of February until the middle of March okay. and I actually ended up leaving like four, I think it was like four days early mm -hmm. because all this quarantine mess was starting to get right, really bad and, right. and I got scared that I was going to get stuck out there. Right. So I came back home. Right. But when I came back, we weren't under quarantine yet, but mm -hmm. I was just self quarantining without mm -hmm. even doing it intentionally. Right. And like a week and a half later, we were like on lockdown. So I've been quarantining for a minute now, but as far as auditions, yeah, it's really been dead i got one um just like two days ago like mm -hmm. i was so random or yet was it yesterday maybe it was random it was like out of nowhere and i was like oh because mm -hmm. i haven't had one in like probably a month literally wow. so i was like an audition but yeah it's the, the production industry for the most part is mm -hmm. what I, my understanding is shut down my yeah. manager sent me an email last week that had an article that was saying that as of now it's looking like it might be september before they open back up so that's crazy so yeah as acting goes it's yeah, not happening. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. We look at Hollywood and all the glitz and glamour and you tend to think that they're unaffected by so many things, but it's just amazing how this quarantine has literally affected everyone like and every line of business virtually. Sure. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Yes. So uh, in, in speaking more about you and, and, and what it is you do, let's go back a little bit. How did you get into acting? So, um, well, the moment that I was like, <gasps> I want to be an actress was mm -hmm. I was like 11 or 12 years old when I saw Selena when I saw Jennifer Lopez and Selena and yeah, I always loved my Selena and just loved <laughs> J-Lo like love her right. and I remember watching and being like oh my god I want to do that I, I just yeah. remember how it made me feel and I was like I want to make people feel that and you know for years I did not even attempt to try like it, it, for me it was just you know I, I didn't come from a family with money I didn't know people I didn't have connections right. and I had that kind of block in my mind that mm -hmm. I just couldn't do it and it wasn't even a possibility mm -hmm. so I did what I thought I was supposed to do you know I tried to go to college major fail to right. not finish <laughs> um you know I I worked the corporate nine to fives I did all the things mm -hmm. that I thought I was supposed to do and with everything I did I was always just like this this is okay and this works for now but this is not like fulfilling me this is not what I mm -hmm. want to do and mm -hmm. I actually was it took me losing a job that I had at like a, a CPA firm I was an administrative assistant okay I was like about to buy my first home I was 23 wow. it was a week before closing and I lost my job and I was like oh my god what am I it was during the recession mm -hmm. and I was like oh my god what am I gonna do mm -hmm. so I started looking for jobs you know the nine-to-five office job right or whatever. and I couldn't get anything so I started back working in restaurants because I've always worked in restaurants throughout the years mm -hmm. and that was a time where I was like, okay, I have the flexibility now. Cause I remember sitting at my office job on the computer, like on Facebook when I wasn't supposed to be, <laughs> you know, seeing all these people and my friends that were like going to these castings and auditions. And I was like, oh, I wish I could do that, yeah. but I couldn't because my job was really strict and I, it just wasn't an option. So when I started by working, you know, as a waitress and I had that flexibility given my schedule, I was like, you know what, let me, let me just try this and see what happens. Like, I, I feel like I need to try. So I, got my first extra gig which i was an extra on the fast and the furious five wow and it was not that i booked a lead role in a movie like, like with steven spielberg or something because when i got an extra role i was like <laughs> i remember I, was like, 
I was at work. I was crying. Like you literally would have thought that I booked like the biggest thing ever. And that's major though. I had no clue. I didn't know. I mean, I did not know the industry. So I really just kind of dove in and just learned things by trial and error. But, Mm -hmm. um, I did the extra job and I was on set and there was a scene between Vin Diesel and The Rock and I was just watching them. And I got that same feeling Mm. that I had when I was watching Selena and I was like, awesome. oh, like, I need to do this. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to be an extra. I'm not doing this. I want to, not that there's anything wrong with it. I, honestly, I think every actor should be an extra at least right. once because you can learn so much you can learn. And if you want to do that to sustain your, you know, lifestyle, make money, it's fine. But I just, mm. I bartend at the time. So the money, it was like, eh, I'd rather get in class and study the craft and keep making, making my money and then audition for the roles and right. do it that way. So I literally started an acting class like two weeks later and mm-hmm. the second day of class, the, the teacher, the coach gave us, um, it was one line and we had to improv and we had to get up in front of the class and have the camera on and we had to just improv with this one line and make it this whole story and just go get into character. Mm-hmm. And I've never done anything like that before in my right. life, like especially in front of people. Right. So that was super, <laughs> but I got up there and I started crying and I, I just went to this place that like I had never been been wow and I was just like it was in a I always say it's an epiphany moment because it really was because it was just like it was when everything clicked and I was like this is what I'm supposed to right so I left I remember I left my acting class I called my Nana and I was like (laughs) Nana guess what like I know what I want to do finally and she's like what is it to be that's my nickname and I was like I want to be an actress like I really want to do this I want to go for it and she was like that's great you can do it and I was like no I am I'm really going to do this so after that I just took every class I could possibly find every workshop studied you know eventually got an agent and started the whole process and 10 years later here we are so. yeah now I want to go back a little bit when you talked about you know watching Selena as like an 11 and 12 year old that feeling that it gave you and then again when you were on set there wanting to give people a particular feeling can I ask you about your uh, ethnicity yeah my dad is Mexican and okay. my mom my mom is Irish German Cherokee Indian some kind of a mutt but um, okay. yeah, I'm half Mex- Mexican American basically gotcha. uh, but I grew up it's crazy because I grew up most of my life. I went, I kind of went back and forth with my mom and my grandparents a lot, my American grandparents, because my mom okay. is American. But when I was at my mom's, which my mom is American, but she's kind of Mexican because <laughs> my dad was Mexican. So when I was at home, my mom's like, there was always, she always had the novelas on. She cooked okay. the first like food I learned to cook was Mexican food. So okay. I always had both cultures. Awesome. Um, but it's definitely been in my later years as I got older that I really got more involved in the culture and learn mm-hmm. the language more and all that kind of stuff. So, okay. So how, how does it make you feel or do you think about it as being an actress, a, a Mexican American actress, you know, the little girls perhaps that will watch you in films and on TV and mm-hmm. be inspired. Do you think about that? Oh yeah. All the time. And then I, you know, I have so many people message me girls saying like, Oh my God, like this gives me so much motivation and inspiration to see a Latina. And I'm like, Oh, Yes, like I love it. Because, right. You know, I really feel like the industry just these past few years is really starting to acknowledge and see the importance of diversity and, and they're really opening up to that. And I think it's so great because for so many years we saw the typical out. Caucasian, yeah. the, the very slim, thin girl. And then J Lo came along and kind of changed that. But Absolutely still, for a while, it was still like she was it's the her. It was right. Her, it was her. <laughs> Sorry. But now it's just like it's okay for everybody and everybody right. sees it all needed and not just Hispanic, be black, white, African, Absolutely. Asian, you know, everything. And I love, love that the, the industry has really gotten to that point because I think it's so important and so key. And everybody in the United States, everybody's mixed with something like who do Absolutely. you mean one thing these days? So <laughs> it definitely helps and makes things and projects and shows and everything so much more relatable because that's what we are and Absolutely. we need to see that. So Absolutely. I'm really happy that we're there now, for sure. Right, that's fantastic. So let me ask you, um, I think maybe you've already answered this, but what, who would be the actor and or actress who has inspired you the absolute most in your career? Oh, yeah, J-Lo. I mean, yeah. I'm like a diamond J-Lo fan. Like, okay. I'm upset. Anytime somebody will be like, send me something, oh, somebody, this article that says something bad, I'm like, that's not true. She's right. not <laughs> great. I don't want to hear it. She's amazing, and I don't care. Because they're like, Erica, you're obsessed with J-Lo. I'm like, I don't care. I love her. She's just, right. she's just amazing, and she works so hard, and her work ethic and discipline. Exactly. I mean, she cannot be inspired. And, and then I agree. looking like that. Right. I mean, she's looking 
better than like most 20 year olds. Out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. 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 But Jayla, just tell us your secrets. Just tell us what you did, what you're doing, your products, you know, tell us. And we can just keep up with it. Right. And you know, you're probably like me. You're old enough to remember her being a fly girl on the In Living Color show. Yeah. And to break into films and to see her become this blockbuster star and a music star That's and, big, you know, a producer big. now. There's so many things in different avenues. She's, you know, come in and taken over. So it's been awesome to watch her journey as well. Yeah, no, I love her. I mean, as far as other, I do have other actors. Like, I love, oh my God, Denzel, of course, who does oh, it. Yes, yeah. DiCaprio, um, Viola Davis is, oh, I love her. Right. So I definitely have, have a handful of people that I'm, if I were to meet, Bradley Cooper, and if oh. I were to meet and work with, I'd probably be like, I just, like, I need to start to like, figure and process, and that's it. But yeah, I, there, there are just so many great, talented people, but yeah, she's definitely yeah. the one that at the top of the list for sure. Awesome. Well, have you had a chance to work with any of your favorites? Um, let's see. I know I, I was obsessed with Scandal back whenever oh, it was. Me really too. Cute. I was obsessed. <laughs> me too. I was watching it and obsessing over it. And I, I was a huge fan of the show. And I got this like last minute booking for a movie. It was called Mr. Right. And um, I played like the little side chick girlfriend or whatever. And I remember going through the call sheet when I had to work and just seeing who was in the film. So I was going through and looking up who everybody is. And then the lead of the film was Columbus Short. Oh, and I looked him up and he was in Scandal, you know, the first yeah, thing, first season. I was like, oh my God, like, I'm gonna work with him. he's amazing. So that was really, really cool. Um, and then along the way, I've worked with so many talented people like mm -hmm. that are just amazing and, and so talented. But like the people that I'm like, obsess over and I'm like oh my god I haven't had the chance yet but it will come, It'll yeah. come. <laughs> so when it comes to acting and honing your craft um do you still take acting classes or work with an actor yeah. along the way absolutely like every I did before like I really really up until I, I booked um ambitions and last call when I booked my first series regular roles I was always in class I would take breaks Okay. Um, you know, I take a month break and get back in, but I was always trying to do a different class and stay in some sort of class. And ever since then, I always try to make sure I do a different class every year, okay. just because I feel like I always tell people, it's like we're athletes and athletes, even when they're not in season, they have to train because they've got to keep working those muscles. And I feel like it's the same for us. Mm -hmm. And even though you might be comfortable and you might have your process down and be, you know, confident where you're at, no right. matter what, every class you do and you know, every experience you have, you're always going to learn gonna and you're always going to grow. Yeah. So I always try to like start with a different acting coach or do a different class that I've never done because you're always going to get something out of it. So I always try to do that for sure. I did one this year, as soon as I was done with ambitions, um, or I guess, well, technically last year now. So actually 2020, I haven't yet, but I definitely will. I, that's like a thing I do every year. I make sure I do a class. I think it's key. What was it like for you to book ambitions? What was that feeling like? Oh my God. It was literally the best feeling in the world. It was like a dream come true. Like, I, I just tell people, I'm like, literally the last year of my life was a dream. Like, yeah. so there were moments where I was just like, is this real? Like, is this really right. my life now? Like, it's crazy. Um, and it's so crazy. I actually had George Pierre, he's a casting director. Mm -hmm. I actually had him send, he sent me my very first original audition a couple of days ago and I saw it and I was like, and I remember at the very first audition, I had messed up a line mm -hmm. and I thought that I'd messed it up bad and it sucked. And when he sent it to me, I was like, okay, I actually made it work. And you probably right. would have never heard I messed it up, but I'm, I'm waiting for the, the chemistry read that it's actually what made me book the role because I really want to see that. But I remember my first audition was in person and here in Atlanta with George Pierre and I didn't hear anything. And then like a month later, I remember I'd been waking up early every day. And then this one day I woke up late at like 10 o'clock and I woke up and I had all these texts and emails and like my best friend, when my best friend said, sent me a text, she's like, oh my God, I just got a direct our chemistry read for Bella. I'm, I'm flying to LA. And I was like, oh my God, congratulations. That's awesome. Like, good luck. Go kill it. And then I go and check my emails and I had the same oh, thing. Wow. I was like, oh my God, I got it too. So literally I got the email that morning at like 10. And I was on a flight that night at 10 o'clock to LA and wow. didn't know, we didn't know our lines. My friend, my best friend Rios was, was like right by me the, on the plane. Mm -hmm. Didn't know, we didn't know our, the scene it was going to be. We didn't know our time for audition. So we're on the plane, like constantly checking our emails. We finally got our, our sides, the, the scenes of what the, the audition was. So we're running the lines, going over it, practicing. And then, you know, we were up until probably one or 2 AM working on it. And then we had our, audition or chemistry the next day and I went in and 
Um, there weren't that many girls there at that time. I know they auditioned with quite a few girls, but um, at the at this the callback, Will Packer was there, oh, and it was wow. just like that was like what I was. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be because I had he was on my vision board literally. I was like, I had been wanting to work wow. with him for so long, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be in the room with Will Packer. He's about to see like my work, and then right when it was my time, my turn to go in, he got a phone call. Oh. And he had to step out. And I was like, oh my God, are you like, I just paid $965 for this flight. And now he's not going to be in the room because, you know, they tape it, of course. But yeah. there's nothing like being in the room and feeling the energy exactly. of the, the audition yeah. and the chemistry of people. And so, but I was like, whatever, I, I got to make this work. Like, so right. I went in there and, you know, did my thing. And then when I came out, he was there waiting and I introduced myself. And um, I left and I was just like, I was like, I'm not going to get that. Like, it was a great audition. I felt really good, but I was just like, I'm not going to get it. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. So I didn't hear anything for a month and it was about a month later. And I was actually shooting Last Call, which was um, a comedy a sitcom that I did. It was my first series regular. And we were like a week and a half out left of filming. And I got a text from my, e my agent one night and it was like 11 o'clock at night. And she was like, are you up? And I'm like, my agent's texting me at 11. Um, yes, I'm up. I'm like, <laughs> yes. they don't just do that for nothing. Right. Uh, like, yes. And she was like, you have an offer for ambitions for the role of Bella. And I oh. hyperventilated, like me and my fiance, boyfriend at the time, were calling everybody. I cried. I fell on the floor. I was like, again, I was like freaking out. I couldn't sleep that night. I woke up at like 6 a.m. because I was just waiting for people to wake up for me to call them. And it was just right. literally like the most <laughs> surreal, best feeling ever. It, it, there's nothing like it, you know, it, it was awesome. So, yeah, you know, you're amazing. holding your own amongst veterans on this, you know, now legendary network. I mean, that's yeah. a, it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> What's so insane is I make a vision board every year. And for 2018, I added Oprah to my vision board because I just, who does, I mean, it's Oprah, like who doesn't right. want to do what she does and have the impact she has. So I added her and plus I knew she had her own network and I was like, she has a network. I might be on one of her shows. And then I've always loved Will Packer. And I finally just added him to my vision where I was like, no, I really want to work with him. And then the fact that it was produced by Will Packer Productions on Over's network was just like mind blowing. Manifest, we can manifest things for real. And that is the perfect proof. And you know, you are just giving me more reason why I need to go ahead and put thoughts to action and make my own vision board. There's something about giving it life. So that's- Yeah, that's just looking at it and seeing it. I do it, I do a new one every year. So yeah, it, it was just insane. Cause you know, some things will stay on there cause you, maybe you don't accomplish it that year. Right. So you will put on to the next, the next vision board. But that year specifically, I just added the both of them. So it was awesome. like, whoa. Even though I, I loved, all, loved both of them for years. Right. It was insane that that year that, that happened so yeah it was crazy so with ambitions you're getting to do a little bit more dramatic acting mm -hmm. so uh is that your favorite genre of acting so to speak you know I really do I love I love all of it mm -hmm. um I've always thought that I preferred dramatic and I really do love it but whenever I did Last Call which was a comedy a sitcom mm -hmm. it was so much fun and yeah. and I loved it too so I don't really know if I can say I have a favorite like I love okay. both Gotcha. I really, I don't, it's hard. I, I really enjoy both thoroughly. Obviously the dramatic is a little more difficult. You know, mm -hmm. there were some days on ambitions. I know there was, um, the way my schedule was that week, it was like, I had like, I think two or three days back to back, but it was like all dramatic scenes. Oh. And you know, we're doing like sometimes 20, 30 takes of one scene. Wow. So by the end of the day, I was like, I, I was like, I don't know if I have any tears left. Like, I don't know. Right. I, I don't use the, the fake tears. I did try. Because uh -huh. I got to where I was like, I, I need something. Because I just, I was drained. You get drained. Because it takes a lot out of you. Like, men, you know, emotionally yeah. and physically even. Um, but for whatever reason, those little fake tear drops don't work for me. They literally, like, people, were, I w we tried everything. And there was, I was like, wow. They were like, well, I guess you just got to go cry. You know, I was like, all right, I'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I, I did learn. Because I never tried them before. The fake tears don't work for me. Right. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I really love both. They're both so different and so fun, oh. for sure. And comedy too, like, that was my first time really doing comedy like that. So the fact that I was working with such talented people, I mean, I was with T.C. Carson and Carl Payne, like yes. these people who were legendary. So it made it easy for me because, right. you know, they keep it going. You're just like keeping up. You're like, okay. Right. But I do 
if I was like on my own and never had really done comedy, it might have been a little bit more scary and intimidating, but I just, I kind of just went off of him. I'm like, okay, thank God. <laughs> I just have to, I tried to keep up. <laughs> right. Well, you know, it's awesome to see how far you've gotten in your career and just, um, just a testament to hard work and believing in yourself. And I can't tell you how you personally touched me, even with the vision board thing, because I think sometimes, you know, we think, certain things are just silly, but it's amazing. Like I said, you put things out yeah. there and how they kind of use the universe, God returns yep. things to you. Um, Literally. Yeah. And so something else I noticed on your, uh, on your Instagram page is that uh, for your birthday, you are involved in a giveaway. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about that. Um, I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a while. And actually, me and my, one of my, my best friends, Leah, had talked about it. We were going to do one. And we actually still might do another one. Mm -hmm. But um, for our birthday... One of my best friends, Stephanie, her birthday is right before mine. Okay. So since everything is kind of weird this year, I, I called her one day and I was like, hey, you know, do you want to do a joint birthday? I mean, mm -hmm. I was thinking to do like something in the driveway and we'll have masks. I, I was trying to think of like quarantine, <laughs> what do we do? And she was like, I don't really, she's really doing quarantine hardcore. And she was like, I don't really know if I would want to be around people like that. And I was like, I get that. So my friend Leah suggested, she was like, why don't you do a Zoom party? And that's okay. And then I told her that idea and she liked it. And then I was like, wait, let's incorporate. I was like, I've been wanting to do this giveaway. Let's incorporate the giveaway for our birthday. Awesome. And she was like, oh my God, yes, let's do it. So we just made it kind of part of our birthday to just give back. And we know right now it's a really stressful, hard time for a lot of people. And right. a lot of people are really going through it. So mm -hmm. we're like, hey, let's just help where we can. It might not be much, but it's something. It's and something. hey, that might be a yeah. car payment or something. So yeah, it was, it was really nice. The winner, we announced it on Wednesday. So yeah. that was really cool. It was a good feeling. So I know I'll definitely be doing more of those for sure. That's awesome. And it's just a testament, honestly, to the character and the type of person you are at your, on your birthday when it's okay for you to be selfish. You know, you're thinking about <laughs> how you can, you know, give to others. And I think that's just, it's completely awesome. Oh, thank you. So, um, I want to thank you for the time that you've spent with me thus far. Um, but before we leave, I do want to ask, um, are there any projects that we can expect? Any other things you have in the, in the makings or right now, everything is shut down. So no, <laughs> I get to do an indie film, an independent film, um, back oh. in a few months ago. God, when was it? I don't even know. I'll run so, the past <laughs> but I know it will be, they had the premiere when I was in LA, I couldn't make it, mm -hmm. but, um, I know it'll be released soon. It's either going to be, on a streaming network, maybe Netflix or something, or uh, direct to TV. So as soon as I know about that, I'll be able to, you know, share all the details. But other than that, yeah, no, I mean, I went to LA for pilot season and I auditioned some, it got cut short and then mm -hmm. all the production shut down. So that just kind of didn't right now. It's just kind of that, that game of like waiting and just doing other things. So okay. right now I've just been studying, I'm going to get my real estate license. I've always really enjoyed that industry and actually worked in it years ago and okay. used to do mortgage and all this stuff. So it's always kind of been my plan to at some point do both acting and real estate. Okay. So now that I have this time and while I can't do acting, time. I'm focusing on that, I'm going to start doing that. And then hopefully the market, the industry will pick back up soon and I'll be able to get back on a show, maybe do a couple of movies. Okay. But as of now, yeah, I'm just, waiting for that next booking or audition that's gonna hopefully be the next big thing so so down the line do you see yourself only staying in the acting avenue or are you thinking about directing or producing or oh oh well, i should mention that that's another thing so i definitely i would love to direct i don't i wouldn't say as a full-time thing but i would love to definitely experience it and do it a couple of times but i definitely know for sure i want to produce um mm -hmm. i have a couple ideas for like shows and movies that i want to do so i actually started working on them a little bit. I'm not a writer. So I'm just trying to get all my thoughts together. But it is a goal that I have hopefully by the end of the year to pitch my first show. So we'll see. Oh, that um, awesome. But yeah, producing for sure. Um, I just have so many ideas and stories that when I tell people, they're like, oh my God, this needs to be like a movie or a show. And I'm like, this I've always wanted to do it. So I'm finally like working on it. Um, but I don't want to put like a specific date on it cause I just don't know when okay. it would happen, okay. but it is in the future plans for sure. Like okay. my perfect life, like vision is, you know, being a regular on a show that's mm -hmm. great and people love and goes multiple seasons. And then on my time off, you know, maybe getting in a movie or two, always having the real estate stuff going Absolutely. and then we're just producing my own stuff as well during, and during everything. So that would be like the perfect life. 
life for me. <laughs> so, honestly, with your work ethic, working life, at least. With, yeah, right. With your work ethic, the type of person you seem to be, you have such a wonderful spirit. I'm sure all those things and more will come to you. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Will. And so through the uh, through the upcoming days, months, weeks, all that good stuff ahead, how can people follow you? What's the best way to see what it is you're up to and what you're doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm most active on Instagram. I'm okay. um, at Miss Erica Page. It's M I S S and then Erica Page, my name, hot spelled. I'm also on Facebook. I'm just not as active as I am on Instagram. And then recently, uh, TikTok, I guess, like everybody I else. I right? of your TikToks and they were hilarious, I must say. It's so funny. My best friend, Leah, she works <laughs> in marketing and uh oh. Uh-oh, there we go. Sorry, somebody was okay. facing him. Like, hold on. Uh, my best friend, Leah, she works in marketing and she'd been telling me the past few months, she's like, you know, this TikTok, like you should really make one. I was like, I'm not making no TikTok. Like, right. <laughs> like, no, I was like, that is for a kid. Like, I'm not, whatever. And she told me multiple times, and I was always like, no, like, no. Right. <laughs> um, I went to LA and, you know, my, my, my friend Maria, who I was with there and her sister are really, they're really big influencers and she's an actress as well. And um, you know, they were on it and then I got sucked in and I got on it and then it's really addicting. And then we have quarantine. So, so we're have, not as busy as normal. Is. <laughs> so it's like, okay, well, it's not like I'm, I'm really that busy, which I have been really busy right now, but it's just with those projects that I've been trying to do that I never make the time to do. Right. But yeah. You can, I'll literally be sitting there some days and I'll like just be scrolling and like, ha ha. And then I'll check the clock and I'm like, it's been three hours, Erica, right. get, <laughs> off. get off. So, but it's fun. It's definitely a fun little escape. Absolutely. And we all need that. We definitely need for that. For sure. Especially well, right now. I want to thank you very much for taking time to speak with us today. It's so greatly appreciated. We wish you all the good fortune in life and hope to see you very soon on the screen near us. Me too. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it so mm -hmm. much. And just thank you so much. I hope I have a lot more to share soon. And absolutely. And I hope you'll come back and have a conversation yeah, with us again. Of once course. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, All right, well, you take care. Thank you. you. Good luck with everything. Thank you very much. All right, bye. Bye.